Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will discuss about intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system. Intrusion detection system is a monitoring system that detects suspicious activities and generates alerts when they are detected. Based upon this alert, a security operations center analyst, SOC analyst or an incident responder can investigate the issue and take appropriate action to remediate the threat. A typical business network has several access points to other networks, both public and private. The challenge is maintaining the security of this network while keeping them open to their customers. Currently, attacks are so sophisticated that they can thwart the best security systems, especially those that still operate under the assumption that networks can be secured by encryption or firewalls. Unfortunately, those technologies alone are not sufficient to counter today's attacks. There are several detection techniques which IDS uses to identify potential intrusion. The first come is the signature detection. Signature based IDS solutions use fingerprints of known threats to identify them. Once malware or other malicious content has been identified, a signature is generated and added to the list used by IDS solution to test incoming content. This enables an IDS to achieve a high threat detection rate with no false positive because all alerts are generated based upon detection of known malicious content. However, a signature based IDS is limited to detecting known threat as is blind to zero day vulnerabilities. The next come anomaly detection. Anomaly based IDS solution build a model of the normal behavior of the protected system. All future behavior is compared to this model and any anomalies are labeled as potential threats and generate alerts. While this approach can detect novel or zero day threats, the difficulty of building an accurate model of normal behavior means that this system must balance false positive that is incorrect alerts with false negative that is missed detections so next comes the hybrid detection a hybrid ideas uses both signature based and anomaly based detection this enables it to detect more potential attack with a lower error rate than using either system in isolation intrusion detection system are not designed to block attacks and will simply monitor the network and send alerts to system administrators if a potential threat is detected. An IDS simply warns of a suspicious activity taking place but it doesn't prevent it. Here is why intrusion prevention system comes into the role. IPS is like an IDS but actively blocks identified threat instead of simply raising an alert. An intrusion prevention system is a network security tool which can be a hardware device or a software that continuously monitor a network for malicious activity and takes action to prevent it including reporting blocking or dropping it when it does occur IPS is more advanced than an intrusion detection system which simply detects malicious activity but cannot take action against it beyond alerting an administrator Intrusion prevention systems are sometimes included as a part of a next generation firewall or a unified threat management solution. Like many network security technologies, they must be powerful enough to scan a high volume of traffic without slowing down network performance. There are several reasons why an IPS is a key part of any enterprise security system. A modern network has many access points and deal with a high volume of traffic making manual monitoring and response an unrealistic option. In addition, the threats that enterprise security systems face are growing even more numerous and sophisticated. The automated capabilities of an IPS are vital in this situation, allowing an enterprise to respond to threat quickly without placing a strain on IT teams. As part of an enterprise security infrastructure, an IPS is a crucial way to help prevent some of the most serious and sophisticated attacks. Intrusion prevention system works by scanning all network traffic. There are a number of different threats include 
th threats that an IPS is designed to prevent, including denial of service, DOS attack, distributed denial of service, DDoS attack, various type of exploits, worms, viruses. The IPS perform real-time packet inspection deeply in inspecting every packet that travel across the network. If any malicious or suspicious packets are detected, the IPS will carry out one of the following actions. It will terminate the TCP session that has been exploited and block the offending source IP address or user account from accessing any application, target host or other network resources unethically. Reprogram or reconfigure the firewall to prevent a similar attack occurring in the future. Removal or replace any malicious content that remains on the network followed following an attack. This is done by repackaging payloads, removing header information and removing any infected attachments from file or email servers. An intrusion prevention system is placed in line in the flow of a network traffic between source and destination and usually sits just behind the firewall. There are several techniques that intrusion prevention systems use to identify threat. The first one is a signature based. This method ma matches the activity to signature of well-known threats. One drawback of this method is that it can only stop previously identified attack and won't be able to recognize new ones. The next come anomaly based. This method monitors for abnormal behavior by comparing random sample of network activity against a baseline standard. It is more robust than signature based monitoring but it can sometimes produce false positives. Some newer and more advanced intrusion prevention systems use artificial intelligence and machine learning technology to support anomaly based monitoring. Next comes policy based. This matter is somewhat less common than signature based or anomaly based monitoring. It employs sec security policies defined by enterprise and blocks activity that violates those policies. This requires an administrator to set up and configure security policies. Once the IPS detects malicious activity, it can take many automated actions including alerting administrator, dropping the packet, blocking traffic from the source address, or resetting the connection. Some intrusion prevention systems also use a honeypot or decoy high value data to attract attackers and stop them from reaching their targets. There are several types of IPS each with slightly different purpose. First comes network intrusion prevention system. The, this type of IPS is installed only at a strategic point to monitor all network traffic and proactively scan for threats. Next come host intrusion prevention system. In contrast to a network intrusion prevention system, a host intrusion prevention system is installed on an endpoint such as a PC and look at inbound and outbound traffic from the machine only. It works best in combination with a network intrusion prevention system as it serves as a last line of defense for threat that have made it past the network intrusion prevention system. Next comes network behavior analysis. This analyzes network traffic to detect unusual traffic flow such as DDoS attacks. The next is the wireless intrusion prevention system. This type of IPS simply scans a Wi-Fi network for unauthorized access and kicks unauthorized devices off the network. The intrusion prevention system offers many benefits. First is additional security. An IPS works in tandem with other security solution and it can identify threat that those other solution can't. This is particularly true of system that use anomaly based detection. It also provides superior application security to a high level of application awareness. Increased efficiency for 
other security controls because an IPS filters out malicious traffic before it reaches other security devices and control it reduces the workload for those control and allow them to perform more efficiently. Since an IPS is largely automated, it requires less of a time investment from IT team. An IPS fulfills many of the compliance requirements set forth by PCI, DSS, HIPAA and others. It also provides valuable auditing data. An IPS can be set up with customized security policies to provide security controls specific to enterprise that uses it. It is important to remember that an IPS is only one part of a robust security solution. It needs to work with other technology for maximum effectiveness. In fact, intrusion prevention systems are often offered as one capability of a unified threat management or a next generation firewall solution. Although they can also be standalone offerings in a typical security architecture, the IPS usually sits just behind the firewall and works in tandem with it to provide an extra level of security and catch threats that the firewall can't catch on its own. An IPS also helps protect other security controls from attack as well as improving performance for those controls by filtering out malicious traffic before it reaches them. Most importantly, an IPS provides an additional layer of security by identifying and filtering out threats that other parts of security infrastructure can't detect. Intrusion prevention systems control the access to an IT network and protect it from abuse and attacks. This system are designed to monitor intrusion data and takes the necessary action to prevent an attack from developing. Although the common between both is both can read the network packets and compare the content to a database of known threat. But the main difference between IPS and IDS is the action they take when a potential incident has been detected. Intrusion detection system are detection and a monitoring tools, whereas intrusion prevention system is a control system. IDS to Tools do not take any action on their own. IPS takes, uh, tools can take the action on their own. The control system accepts and rejects a packet based on the rule set. IDS requires a human or another system to look at the result. IPS requires that the database gets regularly updated with the new threat data. So guys, that's all about the IDS and IPS. If you like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.